While we're going to focus primarily on Western style handsaws in this course, I want to take a minute to talk about Japanese style saws as well. Now, while there are some minor differences between Japanese style saws and Western style saws, I think you'll find that there are probably just as many similarities. Just like Western saws, Japanese saws are designed to cross cut or rip. And just like Western saws, Japanese saw teeth designed for ripping have no bevels, and the Japanese saw teeth designed for cross cutting do have bevels. Also, just like Western saws, Japanese saws are sized for the work that they're intended to do. For example, this 270 millimeter Ryoba has six points per inch on its rip saw side, and it has 11 points per inch on the cross cut side. Just like my Western rip saw, which has five and a half points per inch, and my Western crosscut saw, which has 10 points per inch. Both of these saws are designed for the initial breakdown of stock. Uh, similarly, this 240 millimeter Dozuki has 26 points per inch, and this dovetail saw has 17 points per inch. And again, both are designed for cutting fine, precise joinery. Of course, the most obvious difference between the two styles is that while the Western saw cuts on the push, the Japanese saw cuts on the pull. Looking closely at the teeth, you'll also notice that while the teeth on the Western style saw are rather short and broad, making them very stout, the teeth on the Japanese saw are much taller and narrower, making them sharper and more aggressive, but quite a bit more fragile. This also means that the two different styles of saws require different kinds of files to sharpen them. So you can see here how a 60 degree file used for sharpening Western style saws will not fit into the gullets of a Japanese style saw. Japanese style saws require a much narrower file for sharpening. Ultimately, I encourage you to try out both Japanese style saws and Western style saws and see which you prefer. Personally, I own several Japanese style saws and a lot of Western style saws, and I enjoy using them all. I really see no reason that you need to choose one or the other. I think it's perfectly okay to use both.